morning, people. This is my morning routine. First thing in the morning, I typically do the Wim Hof method, which is these deep inhales and exhales of breath. <sighs> typically what I'll do is I'll do 30 to 40 breaths, filling up my belly with as much oxygen as I can, and then fully exhaling all of that carbon out. <sighs> Just trying to get as much oxygen into our system, trying to get some blood flow going to our body. And this is just the Wim Hof method, which if you don't know who Wim Hof is, I highly recommend um, looking him up and practicing this method. It's a mixture of cold therapy in addition to meditation and breath work. And I started doing this in 2021. Um, I made a challenge to do this every single day. And I've done this every single day this year, just as a habit and a routine. And I honestly feel weird when I don't do this. It's just one of those things where once it's implemented into your routine, it just becomes second nature in that sense. <sighs> once you go through that last breath, what you'll do next is you're gonna hold your breath in until you feel like you need a gasp of air. So get one last breath in. Then you hold your breath as long as you can until you feel like you need another grasp of air. I mix in doing push-ups in between these. I typically do three rounds of 34 reps of push-ups. If you want more of a challenge, you can try to hold your breath as you do these push-ups to restrict the oxygen getting back into your system. A lot of people ask, like, how do I squeeze in mobility? How do you do X, Y, and Z? You gotta fit it in into your time and your schedule. Early on, in between your work, after work, while you're doing leisure activities, this is how you squeeze in mobility to maximize your performance. I love putting the foam roller on my calf because I run a lot. Even just starting the morning, our muscles get really tight when we sleep. We're not, there's not much movement happening, so creating as much blood flow, especially if you are a runner or crossfitter or whatever type of sport you are doing, wherever you are utilizing a lot of your muscles, try to work on those muscles early on in the morning to kind of set the foundation up for your day. A big part of also why, even before I brush my teeth or anything, before I've, you know, obviously I turn off the phone, but so many people, the first thing they do in the morning is get on their phone before they do anything else. And if you can spend this time to kind of work on not only some mobility, some self-care work, but also just working on spending this time for yourself. The world is distracting. The world moves really fast. And so many people, they respond to the external world before they even give themselves some time. And that's why this has been something really important for me through my journey of like, I'm on my phone a lot throughout the day. I'm, on, I'm in social media, I'm, I'm in the content space. I do a lot of stuff via the phone and via technology. And Sometimes you can put others first before you put yourself first. And it leads to burnout. It leads to not being and showing up as your best self. So I found that this practice of just showing up in the first 10 or 15 minutes of my day, zero distractions from the media, from mainstream media, from devices, from technology. And it's just my time to kind of settle in the day so that every single day I can be at my best. And this has been a really, really like foundational tool to not only stay positive, but to be at my best and to show up for myself so that I can show up for the world. And that's why I take this so seriously. And even when I'm on vacation, even when I'm traveling, I mean, I try to implement pieces of this no matter where I'm at. Maybe I'm not getting as good of the breath work in because there's so many distractions or whatever it might be, but even just showing up and just trying to instill the routine and the habit, it goes a long way. So as you guys saw, I like doing the tibialis raise and a little bit form of light stretching in the calf just to start my day. Think about brushing your teeth. A lot of people just stand here, don't move their body at all, but even just getting a little bit of blood flow, especially for me as a runner, someone that uses my legs a lot, it's super important to kind of get that going in the morning. Also, if you notice, I brush my teeth with my non-dominant hand, so my left hand. And I learned this from Jim Quick, who's a mindset coach and a brain coach, and a lot of it has to do with just developing new neural connections and almost potentially building new ones. A lot of times when we get so used to our comfortability, 
That could just be brushing your teeth with your normal hand, taking hot showers, doing small things to add in these new feelings to just make your brain think a little bit. Cold exposure, brushing your teeth with your off hand or just doing things with your off hand are really, really good to help you guys develop new neurotransmitters. Another thing I do is just make the bed. I mean, I know it's super simple. I was actually not a military brat, but you guys have heard the whole saying of like, if you can start your day completing a task, it's a great way to build on top of it throughout the day. So I make my bed. If you don't want to, don't do it, but I make mine. You guys know my Instagram. I post about the Daily Stoic. One of the first posts I make in the morning. Um, I read this book every day, one page. This is by Ryan Holiday. And it's just a study on different philosophers, um, meditations, and just kind of concepts, whether it's values or morals that um, Ryan Holiday has kind of figured out through the people that he studied. Um, it's a great practice of just trying to be a lifelong learner. Every single day, a lot of people say, I don't have time to read, I don't have time to educate myself. And if you can read one page a day, which takes a little bit less than maybe two minutes, um, if you can't even do that, it's gonna be really hard to kind of dedicate yourself to do anything in life. So if you can, try to get a copy of this. It's a really good read. Read one page a day, see if you can do that for a year. So a big reason why I like to post this because a lot of people have told me like, Matt, I haven't gotten the book because I just read it on your story. And for me, a lot of it is just sharing knowledge and sharing information that I've learned to then hopefully help someone on the other side of the screen. The one part of my morning where I do touch my phone is just to take a picture of this and to post on Instagram. So that's what we're about to do. We're gonna share this page, which is November 23rd. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen this many of times. This then gets posted and then all of you guys get to read and be a part of my morning routine. Next thing, we gotta hydrate. This is not only just good for runners and athletes, but an everyday human. You sleep for six to eight hours, hopefully, which means that your body's pretty dehydrated. Specifically, a lot of lost sodium when you're sleeping. Big hack, pink Himalayan salt in your water to kind of kick off the morning. This is a great way to just add in a bunch of sodium into your water. It's kind of like putting your water on steroids. And honestly, sometimes what I'll do as well, shout out to BPN, we'll throw in some electrolytes in here too. Which, what that does is, it makes it taste a little bit better and less salty. So that's our salt and electrolyte water. This is by far a hack for almost every single human to start to maximize. Get salt in your water. If you don't have electrolytes, you don't need to use them, but salt at the minimum, and honestly, even if you don't use salt, just drink water in the morning. This is the best thing that any human can do. Try to get eight to 12 ounces of water in as soon as you get up within the first 10 minutes. Hydrate up, people. Ah, nice and salty. Now, it's time to run. Let's go get ready. Ah, it's getting a little chilly in Austin. We need a little long sleeve, so. Now, Stop the run, people! And that's my morning routine to get myself ready every single day for running, for entrepreneurship, for creating, whatever it might be. If you guys like this video, make sure you smash the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the damn channel, hit the damn bell icon so you guys get notified when I post another video. Other than that, this is how I get juiced up for the day. A lot of it starts for me just on my own, but then now as I step out of here, if you guys see me out on the trail, say what's up to me. Nonetheless, getting some miles in. Peace, see you later.